I'm not going to lie, you'll probably never ever use this quick tip, but just in case you do, please let me know. I'd be uh, very curious. So I'm going to show you how to create a repeating pattern, a repeating tile inside of Photoshop using the Render Clouds filter. Now the important thing here is you need to have edges, you need to have sides, which are powers of two. Now they don't have to be the same length, okay? So your width and your height can be different, but your width and your height have to be numbers like 128, 256, 512, 1024, something like that. So let me demonstrate just now. If we go to File New, let's go with 1024 by 1024. So again, each of these is a power of two. Choose OK. Filter, Render, Clouds. And that's it. There you go, guys. You have now a graphic, which if you, if you, excuse me, if you were to export that out, it would be infinitely repeatable if you were to tile that. And just to prove to you that this works, I'm just going to unlock my background layer, press C to grab my crop tool to open this up a little bit, enter or return to commit that. And if I just uh, duplicate this layer, command or control J with my move tool, if I just move that over, you can see it's repeating beautifully. If I select both layers and duplicate those again, move that down, sure enough, just proving to you that original graphic that we created is infinitely tileable. Uh, let's create another example, a new document. Let's prove that the edges don't have to be the same length. So 1024 by 512. Again, both sides are powers of two. Choose OK. Filter, render, clouds. And again, unlock my background layer. Grab my crop tool, expand this out, duplicate my layer with the selection tool, move it over, select both of those, duplicate that, move that down like so. And there you go. Proof again, guys, that the graphic that we created is infinitely tileable. Um, again, you'll probably never ever use that, but um, if you do, please let me know. Maybe I can show you how to make this slightly more realistic, more likely that you might use it. Let's create another quick one, guys, and just to create something that looks a little bit more subtle, something that you may use, filter render clouds. Let's press our command or control M to bring up our, our curves adjustment. If I was to make something a lot more subtle, something like this. Again, let's quickly run through that. Duplicating, moving, duplicating both, moving. Look, I'll admit it's not great, guys, but maybe if you need something like this, hopefully this can help you out. Catch you later. Thanks for listening.